sweet souls. How are you? It's your forest fairy here. Nice to see you again. Well, you know what time it is. You can see the cards. It's crying time for a Christ consciousness read. Here on Spiritual Sunday. All right. Let's take a look at the messages that Christ wants us to hear. That Christ wants us to, I'm going to say, experience. What do we need to experience to move forward closer to that Christ consciousness state or vibration? Let's just put it that way. Let's take a look. Sweet souls. Oh, let's take a look right there. Seek, and you shall find, sweet souls, seek. And I, for the first time, I've noticed the flock in the background. I never noticed that. And this little guy sought out Jesus and found him, and found love, and found food, food for thought, food for um, the soul. Beautiful. The energy that crosses this is your Heavenly Father knoweth you have need for all these things. They, I say they. Heavenly Father, who resides within you. And here we have the Son, Jesus. They know, Jesus knows because he has lived a human life. They know that you want for all these things. They know about the frequencies. They know about the whether it be through frequencies, I, I do believe it's it's more on a frequency level. Um, everything is frequencies, but it's through visuals, through subliminal, through frequencies, through food, through everything that is being thrown at us to keep us disconnected from source, from the light, from God. <laughs> they are aware. Jesus knows. God knows. And it's when you seek, you shall find. When you find him, when you find your magic, when you find what it is that humans are actually capable of doing, wow, this world will change. It is changing. Because wow, I didn't know that I didn't need a phone and I could just telepathically think of someone and then they go, hey, <laughs> what are you up to? I was just doing this. I was just whatever. Some people have vision, will have different, um, kind of like different talents, right? Some people are really good at music, but not so good at drawing, as an example. Some people are really good at drawing and not so good at uh, disassembling and assembling uh, machines, right? So there'll be different types of people that have different talents, that have different quote unquote superpowers. And so when you seek and find the creator who's created us all to have a, um, strengths and weaknesses, they know the crossing energy is the distractions. The crossing energies are those dopamine loops. The crossing energies are the clickbaits. That's, they know. They know. Peace. I leave with you. Your higher self. It's talking about the peace. My peace I give unto you. John 14, 27. This is about finding peace of mind, quieting the the, the fast sort of uh, paced life, fast paced world, fast paced um, taking in fast images, fast um, advertisements, fast video games. As an example, just this fast finding peace of mind, finding peace within. Focus and foundation is let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Whatever's coming out now, whether it be through news media or even here on YouTube, don't be afraid. Just put your trust in God. Put your trust in the light. And if you don't know why things are changing, um, I'm learning about astrology, but I don't know. I have no idea. I can listen to different astrologers 
And based on their vibration, I can decide, well, I want to listen to a positive one. And then I want to listen to like the world's coming to an end. Like there's, there's different vibes that I will then expose myself to and listen to. Having said that, I don't let my heart get troubled. I take it in as information. And this is someone who for 20 or more years wasn't on the internet, right? So I take this as information in and then put the phone down. Like there'll be mornings I take the kids to school and don't even bring my phone. I know that is in, is impossible for people to imagine. For a lot of you, you couldn't even imagine not being without your phone. I'm different because I didn't have one. So I'll leave it here at the house and then go, where's my phone? Oh, I didn't even unplug it from the station, right? That's what happened to me this morning. These experiences, this information that is given to you, don't let it trouble your heart. Just know that things are, ex you are exposed to things here for a reason. You are, to are, and they could be, I see a lot of videos that come up on my um, YouTube feed as uh, messages, right? Like from someone I had never, I'm not subscribed to, I never heard them and they pop up. And I go, okay, I'll click on that. And again, the clickbait, I understand it, I understand. <laughs> And going down YouTube rabbit holes, I understand. And then because you watch that, two more come up on that subject or with that same vibration, right? It's very interesting to me. So, And I do not let it make me afraid or trouble my heart. And that's the focus on foundation, is whatever information you are taking in from whatever media, from whatever medium, I guess, don't let it trouble your heart. Have faith in God. That's exactly it. Simply said, have faith in God. Whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it unto you. Just make sure he will only give it to you when it's aligned with divine law. Yeah, it's integrity. He'll give it to you. Absolutely. How you see yourself. I love this one. Give. And it shall be given unto you. I love, because of the birds, like I just absolutely love this card. And this is how you see yourself, that it starts with giving. It starts with gratitude, it starts with giving, absolutely. Because when you give, you then receive. Learning how to receive. Learning not to say, no, no, no. Because when you deny someone their gift, whether it be gift of time, gift of money, gift of help, don't give. Like my mother was always one to um, say don't loan family any money unless y you sort of release it you expect not to get it back and then if you do get it back you're grateful you're like thank you right and not with this sort of side eye oh it only took you six months six years <laughs> whatever but thank you because you didn't expect it back you gave without expecting it back and that's only with family if it's other people the, she's Capricorn Sun Virgo Moon she expects it back I'm just saying how other people see you? Forgive. This is a powerful reading today. Forgive and you shall be forgiven. Give and it shall be given unto you. Very much reminds me of my grandmother. How she would say, I would say, he's not cooperating. If you want more cooperation, be more cooperative. If you, he's not giving it to me. If you want it to be given to you, you have to give first. If you want forgiveness, you have to be more forgiving. This is, these were teachings of my grandmother, the which basically she got from Jesus not gonna lie peace again with the peace I leave with you peace be unto you as my father hath sent me to inform to teach to give you peace because this Watiko energy this negativity has been always really it has been always and the last card out blessed are the peacemakers this is about peace people this is about peace for they shall be called the children of God, and that which you might not see underneath the deck, according to your faith. According to your faith, be it unto you. So this is whatever you believe in, that's what you will receive. So if you believe in fear, negativity, and have a troubled heart, that's what you receive. If you seek for peace, peace of mind, if you seek 
for love. This is what, if you seek, if you have faith in God, this is what, it's, these are the messages. This is what it's telling you. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Be a giver. Absolutely, be a giver. But I do have to say this with this card, and this is how you see yourself, sweet souls. I do have to say this, a wise man, Scorpio sun, Aries moon told me that as a giver, know your limits because a taker has been and we are dealing with takers they just again don't need to remind you of the greatest wealth transfer happened through covid not gonna lie it did so just be aware that if we don't put any i don't want to say if, it, if if we don't find that to be uh, worth much okay yeah the rich got richer but my spiritual life is, is more than their billions. I feel spiritually wealthy. I feel um, physically, because I have my health, wealthy. Th this, th I think this is the way things are changing. And, and again, I don't, I, negativity has always been monetized. And we, I see it out there on YouTube. I see it out there. And I don't actually go on Instagram, so I can't say that. I don't know. I just hear. There's a lot of negativity. There's a lot of trolling. There's a lot of, you know, sites and, um, let's say, um, media platforms or social media platforms that reward negativity, whatever that means to you. Um, and I think that's changing. It'll change into positivity. And when that becomes monetized, Wow, people will change. <laughs> they will. I'm gonna lie. We'll see. Let's clarify with the tarot. Already jumping out with a wish fulfillment. And is for you to find spirituality, for you to find Jesus, for you to find God. Is this your wish fulfillment? Also to be emotionally independent. Yes, look at that. Absolutely. And in behind that emotional independence was the Ten of Cups. We got the first two cards out, the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Seek and you shall find the ultimate happiness, the happiness beyond what you could ever have imagined. Peace, I leave with you, he says. My peace I give unto you. When you feel abandoned, when you feel left out in the cold, God, why have you forsaken me? He doesn't. You have to seek. And you shall find find peace in a peace of mind peace in your heart and create and there's this knight of cups what is it that you're creating you're creating an independent heart you're creating wish fulfillment you're creating happiness around you everywhere of course you're going to be tempted of course you want these little trinkets these little things but no one can, and they can take it all away if they want to but they can't take away your creativity they can't take away your faith they can't take away your spiritual powers and in fact your physical powers what that's why they're trying to dampen it that's why they're trying to keep you down so that you don't discover that relationship and, and rebuild and re-establish that relationship with source that relationship with god so they want to trouble your heart they want you to be afraid the focus on foundation is let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid because you're moving forward into love and happiness. I'm loving it and trusting. This is a trust card in the tarot that you are trusting in source and you're manifesting. Look at this. You're manifesting independence. You're manifesting moving forward. You're manifesting this 10 of cups. You're manifesting your creativity and it's really turning your back on this feeling of being alone, of being abandoned, of being left. I just keep, with this five of pentacles, I keep hearing, God, why have you forsaken me? As he said on the cross, and he never did. He had to go through this to see his ability, his true abilities. That the physical body is not who you are. That's how I always looked at it. It was terrible. I mean, Poor man was tortured, right? But it didn't change his soul. I did. I mean, it, it affected. It, it put a stamp on that soul of, but he was sent down here to teach us these things. So have faith. Have faith in God. 
Do not be blind to it. I see this Two of Swords as choosing not to see, choosing not to be amazed, choosing not to take a look at every day as a gift, choosing not to. That's what I see this Two of Swords is you are blinding yourself to the faith in God and not doing anything about it and then turning around. This is in the past though. This is what I love. This is in the past. And so, and with that, and again, the Two of Swords can, can also be peace of mind. The Four of Swords can also be resting the mind. And the mind has been troubled. The mind has been the one to really set fear into this dimension. It's a fearful dimension, isn't it? Because of all the evil that is here, that's living here right now. I look at evil as the absence of love. So if we're pumping more love into it, if we get organized and get organized underneath the light of God, we get out there. We're not afraid of what we say and what we, because if it's, it's in line with divine law, if it's in line with integrity, say it. Whatsoever you shall ask, and this is in the near future, the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Be patient. This is beautiful. Look at this. Be patient. Finding your um, balance. And again, I keep going back to head and heart. Our brains are a supercomputer. They want the artificial intelligence to be like our brains. But they, they can't. And so, if you are amazed, as I am, with AI and the developments of AI, know that you have those capabilities in your brain. You have to unlock it, and you unlock it by reprogramming. And as someone who avoided um, technology because I couldn't learn it, or that's what I was told, that's what I believed, that's what I over and over said in my head, this is too hard. It wasn't until my children, boy number two, He's like, oh, don't get worried about it. Just do, just try this, just do that. And he was figuring out, because he was kept tech free. So as he got more access to it, his energy is just, oh, you just have to talk to it. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> really? And so I started listening to my son and really sort of opening up that I can do this. That's the patience. That's the balance. That's Whatever I, so I started asking God, can you please help me see how to use these programs, how to find fast ways of doing these simple tasks, which is walking through the program, right? Yeah, and learning and being curious about, this is exactly, exactly, I'm curious about what my brain's capable of. I'm curious about how my sensitivities, how I feel energy, how I can feel energy through technologies. These are all very interesting to me. And I'm curious about how can I, can I send my own positivity through the airways? I think I can. Is my voice a certain frequency that people will resonate with? I think it is. So there's a lot of, and it's all through the, the miraculous wonders. I mean, I've always been just in awe of God, like just awe. Wow. And are we, if we are made in God's name, if we are, have we made God, and then this is a question my dad and I ask, or he has asked me, have we made God in our likeness? When in actual fact, he made us in his likeness. So if that's the case, and if he's all this, this unbelievable, powerful, loving entity, energy, then why did we make a vengeful God? Like, I'm just curious. Why did we write it in as he's vengeful and he... I never really... That's why I kind of read the... Um, and I'm going through it. I'm, I'm curious. So I'm finding these scriptures and, I'm, and I want to um, go through it. And, and find out and, and keeping an open mind because that's how I grew up that God was all loving and more love than a human could actually imagine and I 
imagine a lot of love. I do. I always have, I think. And then an astrologer told me it's that, you know, Scorpio 12th house, Venus placement in the 12th house. Okay, so I understand. At the same time, I'm curious about what I'm capable of. I'm curious about if I'm in God's likeness, if he, if that light, that and that's my soul, lives in me, what am I capable of? Everything, anything, name it. As we see here, give, and it shall be given to you. Oh, so, and it's right beside this fear. If you're not, and again, it's the fear of giving. What if I give? Let's, let's get another one out. Yeah, equal give and take. So this is very interesting. I'm seeing this devil as giving your power away. You're giving the power away to the powers that be. And you've got to give and learn how to receive. And, and this, like I said earlier, um, as a giver, know your limits because a taker has none. Well, isn't the, the, the taker... The devil isn't the taker the devil he takes away your hope he takes away your freedom he chains you right so don't give your power away expect what you give to come back and then learn how to receive it now again no strings attached I give kindness to everyone I come across because that's just who I am. If someone's nasty to me, that's a challenge to me because then I will try to transmute that negativity into positivity, even if it's only for a moment of their lives. They could turn away from me, I walk away, whether it be in a store or whatever, and they're still miserable. Or I've changed them. I don't know. I don't stick around to find out. Um, because I know what I've given is just positivity, love, kindness and I give it away and that's it. The devil wants to take your energy, wants to take your confidence, wants to take um, all it, that, that which you are trying to manifest. Take your love and twist it into fear, into a troubled heart to remind you that, per that particular person hurt you. This one could hurt you too. No, it's a completely different person. You change your vibration. You, you attract people on that same vibration. So this is the devil wanting to take from you. That's how I see it today. And forgive. So you have to forgive yourself for falling victim to that narrative. Yes, absolutely. And when you give and take equally, when you become a giver, this the Six of Pentacles is knowing your worth. It's a Taurus energy. Then you move into that Ten. We've got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Yes, with forgiveness of yourself. Yes, believing in God. Yes, finding your spirituality, whatever that means to you, sweet souls. I found it through Jesus. So that's why I do these Christ Consciousness Reads. Because I love the messages, I love the cards, I love the energy. But whatever this means to you, this is how other people see you. They see you as forgiving. They see you as forgiving and being forgiven. Absolutely. Preach. I said preach. I said peace. <laughs> preach. Be unto you as my Father has sent me. Peace. It's peace. And taking that path. There is a path of love and a path of fear. And you are taking the path of abundance, path of, yes, a brand new beginning, a brand new start. I'm going to like switch this. And the reason being is because this path has to do with your spiritual loving path. And this is a brand new beginning that you will then start seeing on the material world. As I said, where positivity gets monetized. Absolutely. Truth and I, I want to put out there truth and positivity getting monetized, not, not this negative trolly kind of energy of ha 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 look at this person that person whatever i'm not even interested i'm interested in truth and i'm interested in positivity and delivering the truth because you can deliver the truth negatively and and cause fear and a troubled heart no 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 do it in a way that's kind that's loving that's in the pathway of love that everything you do even if you're speaking the truth it's through love absolutely 
Blessed are the peacemakers. You are peacemakers, sweet souls, for they shall be called the children of God. Rebuilding. We are rebuilding this society because we're waking up to what the devil's been doing. Absolutely. Brand new beginning. Right there. And according to your faith, be it unto you. This is home. Absolutely. Look at that. Four of Wands. Feeling like the, the kingdom of God is within. That's home. Why don't we make this earth home as beautiful as it, as it had been intended? Let's do that. And that's through vibrational changes, thoughts changing. That's through actions changing. That's through feeling the love, feeling independent, being financially independent. And that's through the path of love, not the path of fear. That's that's basically it. Let's get some angel numbers on this. I see four, two, four. Let's do four, two, four. And then I also see 44. I see four, four, four. I see 22. Oh, I see 10, 10. Let's do this. Okay, four, two, four. Sweet souls, four, two, four. Your angels are focusing on your personal relationships. Be clear about your feelings and share the love you have within with those you really care for. 44. Let's do 40. I've got 22 right there waiting for the next one. 44. Your guardian angel, your personal guardian angel is wrapping you in a cloak of loving protection. You are safe. 22. You're at a crucial point in your journey which could help you understand the relationships and spiritual assignments that will support your growth. I also see 444. Let's do the triple. 444. Right there. Oh, I keep forgetting what 444 is and then I'm, I'm every time I read it. You are surrounded by 100,000 angels. Miracles are happening before your eyes. I want you to feel their love. Because when I get that one, that's a lot of love right there. Absolutely. And power. This is powerful. I see, let's do 42 and 62. 42. Yeah, 42. Angels are lovingly guiding you to express your emotions, align yourself with truth and integrity. We talked about that. 62. Take time to see the points of view of those you may be challenged by at this time. Call on the angels of harmony to ease any challenging relationships. That's beautiful. And any numbers that you see on my table, sweet souls, that I do not read aloud, those are personal messages for you. Get your book and take a look. If you do not have an angel numbers book, go to the description box below, click on the link, and grab yourself a book for all future reads. I see 1010, and I usually go to the time for that. 1010, you are on the cusp of something miraculous, sweet souls. Trust that God and angels are one and are with you now. And the last one, I have to do 910, because seek and you shall find is flanked by 910. So let's do 910 and we'll wrap this up. 910, you are aligning your energy system with God and the cosmos stay light. Yes, and full of playfulness as this will keep your vibration high. That is a very good keeping your um, keeping light and playful, especially in this Gemini season, this is where you get to have fun. This is where you get to play and play with your mind, play with the ideas, play with how can I make someone smile today? That's just playful. That's what's going to raise your vibration out of this um, troubled heart and out of the fear that the devil is trying to really, when the, when they bump up the fear, they know that the, the, the collective is changing. Just know that. With more fear, they are afraid of us changing. They are afraid of us really rising up to a different frequency. That's what I see. And that's what I see for you, sweet souls. And I'm sure I'll see you again. Take care from your forest fairy. Bye for now.